Seminoles offense has heated up as well. Five for their last seven from the floor. Darren Green Jr. Count it! And the foul! All three of those for Darren Green Jr. See this pit high ball screen right there. A little confusion from the Owls trying to go underneath. Just creates a little bit of separation. That's all he needs. Enough for the sharpshooter. Worley with five on the shot clock. Green with three, green with two. Buzzer beating heave, and he buries it. A dagger in the Owls' hearts. Housing now a bunch of new guys. Central Michigan, only three to four returners from a season ago, so you have to find how to gel with these new, these new players. Knowles, another look at this long-range bomb. I mean, he's got unlimited range, Darren Green. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. They did not win their fourth game last year until December 21st. There is deep range. Includes breakdowns and analysis of the ACC's bowl-bound teams and their matchups. Cover starts at 6 Eastern right here on the ACC Network. And the ESPN at County. Bring the ball up the floor, evaluating the defense. He found his 40 years ago. That was definitely a while ago, WD. Ball away three. Green on the board for Florida State. See, you talked him right into that shot. 100 seconds to go in the first half. By the way, Coach. Green to three. He's, he's got it now. Being a part of your first television. I know, I know. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do this many more times. I yeah. hope so. I hope so. Green a three out front. Yeah, he makes, he makes some hard shots, too. And you mentioned where they get Spears back. They still are without Cam Corrin and Cameron Fletcher due to injury, so they are not whole by any means. There's the beautiful stroke of Darren Green, Jr. The best shooter, one of the great shooters in the country, number 22 in white, Darren Green Jr. There he gets a sh shot right here. That's the first time he's been able to catch the ball and actually make a play since the first half. You've got to go out and chase him. Yeah, and, and you've got to make sure he doesn't catch the basketball because he has had layers to his game. I yeah. call game. Green, contested three, able to find the rain. 15 of the 20 shots are three-point attempts. Green for the answer, it's good. And if he gets going, he's got the ball now. Thought about it. Dumps it inside, too easy for Miller. Final minute here in Tallahassee. Harrison driving baseline, knocked away, stolen away. Darren Green Jr. to the house. Those fireworks. Florida State, two huge steals and a huge slam in transition. A smooth move and a big time dunk right when you need it most. I mean, they were down 21 and they did make it a one possession game. They did have opportunities at the end. But this man right here wasn't the guy taking shots late in the game. So on the baseline, Darren Green can heat up. He gets his first three of the game, 39% on the season. They are a good half-court defensive team. You take a look at the Hokies starting five. Shot clock down to two. Fade away to open the scoring. Darren Green Jr. He had one more up in the slot if he found that. He had another pass race. Right look at that range by Green. Darren Green Jr. If, if he sees it, he'll take a few for Darren Green today. That was way beyond NBA range. He's a volume shooter. But if he's hot, dribble penetrate, get to the paint, and get a basket. Green, deep three. Money! Darren Green drills it! Five games with a broken toe that kept him out a month. Salas backs it out, and Keller turns it over. Green the pick, the stick! This is a team that forces turnovers. They force four, and when you can get Darren Green down there for a transition three, he's already made two. Cam Hildreth has the ball screen from Efton Reed. Off the rejection. Hildreth underneath. Turns it over. Derek Green's off to the races. Exclamation. But Efton Reed does not step to the ball. Hildreth thinks he will. And as a result, Darren Green gets it. And how many times have we seen Green do this tonight? It's tipped around and Green, Darren Green, corrals the board. 
Green with his second to three. His threes come in bunches. He's had games with five, six, seven threes or more. Green off a nice feed from Worley. When Bob Miller shoots, I don't even know why you go out there to challenge him. Numbers for Florida State. Green drops it off for Spears. One of the last unbeaten teams in the country. And Clemson here switched to the zone. You and I talked about this. Green hits a deep one. How are your guys do? <laughs> Tough shot for Starling out of step back in the mid range. Darren Green pushing tempo to Cam Corrin underneath. What a catch. Running and catching out overhead like that. December 16th for the Seminoles. So that added an explosive score and another warm body for Leonard Hamilton. And it's starting it over. Darren Green's out to the races and finishes. Syracuse and they have delivered. 22 for Watkins, 24 for Mintz. 80% on the year. Darren Green's got the rebound. Green with a hard drive off the long foot, scores it. Got to go back to the Clemson win last year for Louisville to find their last halftime lead in a conference game. Darren Green gets a pick to start, and he lays it in. But just over two minutes into the game, he inserted Johnson, and everything's changed. Five to shoot for Florida State, down 13. Darren Green. We've got to get to him. Here's Williams. Strip by Darren Green. Ahead for Worley. Core in the lob. Down to 10. So Boston College is going to have to run their offense crisp. And you're going to have to make individual plays against Florida State. They're not going to let you get many uh, rotations with the ball. Quick three by Darren Green. He has that type of range. The long layoff. Slow start. A little out of sync offensively and defensively for Boston College for a lob pass. Ten-point pass right here to help late. With those five threes at Syracuse a week ago, or here at Connie Forum, and the Eagles win. Bowl Bowen after another turnover. Three. Well, the issue right now for Boston College, turnovers. Now, that was key coming into this game, how they would handle, obviously, the layoff, but then the pressure of Florida State. Uh, they lead the ACC in turnovers forced. Uh, right now, uh, they are being disruptive. And then on the offensive end. 20 seconds to go. Green hasn't made one all night. Miller deflects it. Jackson throws it up. He misses. Green grabs it. He scores and he's going to the free throw line. Wow. <laughs> what a time to make your first basket of the game. Just kind of tipped it to himself. Kept it alive. And a little mock chant from the student section as they're doing the tomahawk chop as the clock winds down for Florida State. There's a three. Green. Hunter on his hip. Oh, nice Got some bounce, and it'll fall, Brian. And the finish with the left. Here's Burns again with Green. Look at this fall away as the shot clock winds down. Miller the rebound. Knowles with a two-point lead. Green a deep three. Sure. Eight to shoot in Florida State, some 20 odd feet out. Green trying to find a valve. Turns, launches, and hits. Green. Back to back threes. Darren Green Jr. Extra pass to Worley. Good ball movement on this possession. Green drills it again. Darren Green Jr. From beyond the three-point arc and all the great shooting fresh first years in the ACC, he's at the tops as far as accuracy. We're not in Charlottesville. They're freshmen. <laughs> and that is what each of these coaches value more so than any Final Fours or any records on the basketball court. Yeah, Coach Hamilton was talking about that again today as Corrin has his second slam of the day.